there. Has the line to the corner, but look how quickly Robbie Francovic's going in the Group A car. The weather is a great leveller. And Hutchman takes a little bit of a shortcut there. Bit of rally crossing. Bobby Francovic staying on the island. There's Roger Freeth. Freeth had to borrow a tyre to get into the race. Now there's Francovic going past Huxford to the cheers of the crowd at the end of the straight. Can Huxford come back at him now? That's amazing. Just shows you how slippery these big monsters are on a wet track. The tyre technology is not brilliant and certainly not up with Group A spec. So Robbie Francovic gaining some advantage. There's John Osborne and there's Don Gridley. Gridley goes round. Can he get out of that one? It's going to be slippery. Spins it back round the way he came. And back out on the track. Gridley looking for a, a place here. He's been on the pace. And Robbie Francovic's out. He's got a problem. So Huxford back in the lead. Here's John Osborne up to second now. Now there's Kerrin Wills parked trackside as Gridley does a bit more rally crossing. Very, very slippery here at Zimmeru, particularly when you've got 600 horsepower. Wills is away. So Huxford clearly in the lead now, no challenges. Osmond second and Grindley third if he can keep it on the track. Wayne Huxford looking for his first national title since he's been competing in this class. The car is at least 10 years old. The engine or the original parts of it are similar age. And he's had a magnificent season down to the chicken flag. Now Huxford wins from Osborne and Gridley in third. A great race for Huxford. Oh, and he's overdone it right past the start-finish line. So that's it.